For this tutorial I will be using a, a 9mm uh, Tunisian crochet hook and uh, this um, iron weight yarn from Paintbox Yarns. So we start with a, an even number of chains. Um, just for this tutorial I'm gonna chain, I don't know, maybe 12. And I'm gonna start with a regular foundation. Uh, a regular foundation row. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now let's work our foundation row. We start from the uh, second chain from our hook working in the back bump so we turn our um, chain we go into the second you see you count one two go into that second back bump and pick up a loop and repeat across so four Five. You see, this is how you count stitches. We have five loops. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this first row is always uh, the same as a regular uh, Tunisian crochet project. So now we do the same uh, return pass as you would normally do. So you first, uh, so let's repeat. Uh, you just, for the first one, you yarn over and you pull through one uh, loop on your hook. Then for the rest of the foundation row, you yarn over and you pull through two loops. Repeat, so we go through this and this one, so one and two, one and two, and we go until the end. Okay, so here we are, we have our foundation row. Uh, with the second row, it's time, well, the first row, uh, it's time to um, start our pattern. So let's let's see, the first, the first stitch, uh, well, okay, the first stitch is already on our hook, and this, this loop here. So we ignore this first uh, vertical uh, bar, and we work into this one. And we make a Tunisian simple stitch in there. So I like to pull yarn a bit here, so that this first stitch is uh, also um, tight. Um, this will avoid uh, slanting of the Tunisian crochet project. So okay, we made, so we have this first loop, then we do one Tunisian simple stitch. Now for this uh, next stitch, uh, we basically have to uh, to make two uh, full stitches, one before and one after that vertical bar. So basically we just make, we insert our hook into this, uh, into this uh, space before the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now we make again one full stitch here. So basically for this stitch we added one loop on our hook and now into the next stitch we make a simple stitch. You see so now we um, we have one extra one extra loop. In the next stitch we repeat the double full stitch so we go into the um, into the next space, pull up a loop, next space, and pull up a loop. And we repeat again, Tunisian simple stitch in the next. We repeat the uh, four stitches, one and two, 
and then simple stitch again full stitches one and two and then a simple one so now you see we have the last two stitches so for this one we work one uh, last stitch where we do the two full stitches so a full stitch here and a full stitch in the last uh, in the last space here and then we work the last stitch so the last stitch is always worked uh, under both of these uh, vertical uh, bars at the end and there we go so we now have how many like two uh, four six eight ten uh, twelve fourteen sixteen seventeen so you see we added quite a few loops on our hook but the thing is that with the return pass we're gonna make some sort of decreases every time we added a loop on our uh, on our on our work so for the first uh, stitch we just worked a regular um, a regular stitch there so we yarn over and we pull through one like uh, normal but now you see that these um, these two loops come from the two uh, full stitches that we did and so we're gonna close these two stitches together so this means that we're gonna yarn over and pull through all these three uh, loops that we have at the beginning so we do three the next one is a simple uh, is a simple stitch so we just close that on its own and the next one again these are two full stitches worth uh, one before and one after the stitch so we yarn over and we close these two together meaning that we go through these three loops and then we repeat again and we continue like this so first two and then we close two stitches together through through uh, loops again two and then three through two through three and then we get to the end and we just close we just say through two yarn over and pull through two and there we are we have our first you see that you can already start seeing these um the spikes here you see that you form uh, with the stitch uh, let's see now um row number two which is going to be basically the same as row number uh, one with the exception that we're not working on a foundation row but we already have uh, our uh, pattern on the under our work let me pull some yarn okay let's have a look so in the first stitch we're just gonna work a simple stitch so we say we just say okay okay i i keep saying the first stitch but technically this is the second stitch okay so we we already have uh two stitches two loops on our hook okay so we make this uh simple stitch and then now we repeat the two full stitches this time we work uh the full stitches in this space here one and in this space all right and then we work our tunisian simple stitch here again two full stitches in this space before and then in the space after and a simple stitch then full stitches A simple stitch here and then again full stitches simple stitch and now again you see this is the uh, similar stitch so we work uh, two full stitches in the last 
two spaces. And then we make our last stitch under both uh, vertical bars at the end. And here we are. So for the return pass, we do exactly the same as we did for the previous return pass, which means for the first stitch we are over and we pull through one. And then we start by closing these two stitches together. So meaning we are over and pull through three. And then we just close this uh, simple stitch here. So we pull through two. All right, and then again through three. And we repeat all across two and three. Two, you see, two is this one. And three. Through two. So notice that when you pull through three, these two stitches, you see, like form the little spike just stuck above the previous one. And then for the last two, we just close through two and through two. And here we go. So you see that the pattern is already clearly visible. And now we basically repeat always the same. So I'm just going to show you once more so that it's uh, easier so by now you know we start first uh, loop is on our hook we go and we make a, a tunisian simple stitch then working in this uh, this space and this space we make two full stitches one and two Simple stitch, and then again here, one and two. Simple stitch, full, and another full. The last thing that I would like to show you is how to do the, the bind off once you have reached the, uh, the end of your project. Um, and the best way to do this is of course on pattern as with most uh, Tunisian uh, crochet patterns. So for this uh, particular stitch what we do is to close each uh, Tunisian simple stitch with a simple uh, slip stitch. As normal so we just go in there and we slip stitch for these ones instead we do again this uh, double full stitch so we pick up two loops and then we yarn over and we do the slip stitch again uh, a simple slip stitch and then Pick up two loops, yarn over, and pull through all loops. Slip stitch, pick up two loops, yarn over, slip stitch, slip stitch the simple stitch, and then 
Again, the two loops yarn over and pull through three. Stitch. We do the last uh, double full stitch. And then for the last stitch, again, we just insert uh, our hook under both uh, side loops and we do a slip stitch. And here we are at the end of our uh, pattern.